Fur, Wikipedia Audio Fur is the hair covering of non-human mammals, particularly those mammals with extensive body hair that is soft and thick. The stiffer bristles on animals such as pigs are not generally referred to as fur. The term pelage first known use in English c 1828 is sometimes used to refer to the body hair of an animal as a complete coat. Fur is also used to refer to animal pelts which have been processed into leather with the hair still attached. The words fur or furry are also used, more casually, to refer to hair-like growths or formations particularly when the subject being referred to exhibits a dense coat of fine, soft hairs. If layered, rather than grown as a single coat, it may consist of short down hairs, long guard hairs, and in some cases, medium on hairs. Mammals with reduced amounts of fur are often called naked, as with the naked mole rat, or hairless, as with hairless dogs. An animal with commercially valuable fur is known within the fur industry as a fur bearer. The use of fur as clothing or decoration is considered controversial by some people. Most animal welfare advocates object to the trapping and killing of wildlife, and to the confinement and killing of animals on fur farms. History Fur clothing was first worn during the 14th to 7th century and is a symbolic garment in European history. The kings and queens of England ordered proclamations to regulate fur aka sumptuary legislation. Sumptuary legislation established the stigmatism of fur being limited to the higher social statuses and convey the idea of exclusivity. Exotic furs such as fox, marten, grey squirrel, and ermine were reserved for aristocratic elites. The middle class were known to wear fox, hare, and beaver while the less fortunate wore goat, wolf and sheepskin. Due to clothing being loose and garments were known to be layered, fur was primarily used for visible linings. Different kinds of fur were worn during seasons and social classes. Animals with fur decreased in West Europe and began to be imported from the Middle East and Russia. As new kinds of fur entered Europe, other uses were made with fur other than clothing. Beaver was most desired but used to make hats which became a popular headpiece especially during the wartime. Swedish soldiers wore broad-brimmed hats made exclusively from beaver felt. Due to the limitations of beaver fur, Hat makers relied heavily on North America for imports as beaver was only available in the Scandinavian peninsula. Other than the military, fur has been used for accessories such as hats, hoods, scarves, and muffs. Design elements including the visuals of the animal were considered acceptable with heads, tails, and paws still being kept on the accessories. During the 19th century, seal and caracal were made into indoor jackets. The 20th century was the beginning of the fur coats being fashionable in West Europe with full fur coats. With lifestyle changes as a result of developments like indoor heating, the international textile trade affected how fur was distributed around the world. Europeans focused on using local resources giving fur association with femininity with the increasing use of mink. In 1970, Germany was the world's largest fur market. The International Fur Trade Federation banned endangering species furs like silk monkey, ocelot, leopard, tiger, and polar bear in 1975. The use of animal skins were brought to light during the 1980s by animal rights organizations and the demand for fur decreased. Anti-fur organizations raised awareness of the controversy between animal welfare and fashion. Fur farming became banned in Britain in 1999. During the 21st century, fox and mink have been bred in captivity with Denmark. Holland and Finland being leaders of mink production.
The modern mammalian fur arrangement is known to have occurred as far back as docodonts, Hiramiudans, and Utriconodonts, with specimens of Castorocauta, Megaconus, and Spinolestes preserving compound follicles with both guard hair and underfur. Fur may consist of three layers, each with a different type of hair. Down hair is the bottom or inner layer composed of wavy or curly hairs with no straight portions or sharp points. Down hairs, which are also flat, tend to be the shortest and most numerous in the coat. Thermoregulation is the principal function of the down hair, which insulates a layer of dry air next to the skin. The on hair can be thought of as a hybrid bridging the gap between the distinctly different characteristics of down and guard hairs. On hairs begin their growth much like guard hairs, but less than halfway to their full length, on hairs start to grow thin and wavy like down hair. The proximal part of the on hair assists in thermoregulation, whereas the distal part can shed water. The on hair's thin basal portion does not allow the amount of pelo erection that the stiffer guard hairs are capable of. Mammals with well developed down and guard hairs also usually have large numbers of on hairs, which may even sometimes be the bulk of the visible coat. Guard hair is the top or outer layer of the coat. Guard hairs are longer, generally coarser and have nearly straight shafts that protrude through the layer of softer down hair. The distal end of the guard hair is the visible layer of most mammal coats. This layer has the most marked pigmentation and gloss, manifesting as coat markings that are adapted for camouflage or display. Guard hair repels water and blocks sunlight, protecting the undercoat and skin in wet or aquatic habitats, and from the sun's ultraviolet radiation. Guard hairs can also reduce the severity of cuts or abrasions to the skin. Many mammals, such as the domestic dog and cat, have a pelomotor reflex that raises their guard hairs as part of a threat display when agitated. Hair is one of the defining characteristics of mammals, however. Several species or breeds have considerably reduced amounts of fur. These are often called naked or hairless. Composition Some mammals naturally have reduced amounts of fur. Some semi-aquatic or aquatic mammals such as cetaceans, pinnipeds, and hippopotamuses have evolved hairlessness, presumably to reduce resistance through water. The naked mole rat has evolved hairlessness, perhaps as an adaptation to their subterranean lifestyle. Two of the largest extant mammals, the elephant and the rhinoceros, are largely hairless. The hairless bat is mostly hairless but does have short bristly hairs around its neck, on its front toes, and around the throat sac, along with fine hairs on the head and tail membrane. Most hairless animals cannot go in the sun for long periods of time, or stay in the cold for too long. Humans are the only primate species that have undergone significant hair loss. The hairlessness of humans compared to related species may be due to loss of functionality in the pseudogene Crtap1 in the human lineage about 240,000 years ago. Mutations in the gene HR can lead to complete hair loss, though this is not typical in humans. Sheep have not become hairless, however, their pelage is usually referred to as wool rather than fur. At times, when a hairless domesticated animal is discovered, usually owing to a naturally occurring genetic mutation, humans may intentionally inbreed those hairless individuals and, after multiple generations, artificially create breeds that are hairless. There are several breeds of hairless cats, perhaps the most commonly known being the SPHYNX cat. Similarly, there are several breeds of hairless dogs. 
Other examples of artificially selected hairless animals include the hairless guinea pig, nude mouse, and the hairless rat. In clothing, fur is usually leather with the hair retained for its aesthetic and insulating properties. Fur has long served as a source of clothing for humans, including Neanderthals. Animal furs used in garments and trim may be dyed bright colors or to mimic exotic animal patterns, or shorn down to imitate the feel of a soft velvet fabric. The term of fur is often used to refer to a fur coat, wrap, or shawl. Usual animal sources for fur clothing and fur trimmed accessories include fox, rabbit, mink, beavers, ermine, otters, sable, seals, coyotes, chinchilla, raccoon, and possum. The import and sale of seal products was banned in the U.S. in 1972 over conservation concerns about Canadian seals. The import and sale is still banned even though the Marine Animal Response Society estimates the harp seal population is thriving at approximately 8 million. The import, export, and sales of domesticated cat and dog fur were also banned in the U.S. under the Dog and Cat Protection Act of 2000. The manufacturing of fur clothing involves obtaining animal pelts where the hair is left on the animal's processed skin. In contrast, making leather involves removing the hair from the hide or pelt and using only the skin. The use of wool involves shearing the animal's fleece from the living animal, so that the wool can be regrown but sheepskin shearling is made by retaining the fleece to the leather and shearing it. Shearling is used for boots, jackets, and coats and is probably the most common type of skin worn. Down hair On hair Fur is also used to make felt. A common felt is made from beaver fur and is used in high-end cowboy hats. Guard hair Mammals without fur Natural selection Artificial selection Use in clothing Most animal rights activists are opposed to the trapping and killing of wildlife, and the confinement and killing of animals on fur farms. According to Humane Society International, over 8 million animals are trapped yearly for fur, while more than 30 million were raised in fur farms. According to Statistics Canada, 2.6 million fur-bearing animals raised on farms were killed in 2010. Another 700,000 were killed for fur by traps. Controversy